Hello, my dear class 8 students. Today we are going to start a new chapter that is chapter 9, Reproduction in Animals. So, uh, this is, these are all the life processes, okay? Now, in class 7, we have studied about respiration, right? Respiration, we have studied about reproduction. Reproduction of plants, right? Reproduction in plants, reproduction in plants. And then we have also studied about circulation. So this, these are all we have studied, clear? And this, without this, uh, survival will be difficult. Okay, we will not be able to survive. Now, so since we have studied about reproduction in plants, let's recall a little bit. In plants, there are two modes of reproduction, right? So one is uh, sexual reproduction and the other one is asexual reproduction. Clear? So in sexual reproduction uh, in plants, we have two uh, reproductive organs for male and female part, right? But asexual means only one parent, right? So same like in animals. In animals, do you know how many modes of reproduction are there, my dear students? There are two modes of reproduction, sexual and asexual. Same like in plants, even for animals, there are two modes of reproduction, sexual and asexual reproduction. Clear? Now, asexual means they are like microorganisms like amoeba and all, right? So, example, let's say just amoeba and all. For them, it's just one parent, okay? So they don't have this male reproductive part, female reproductive part. Just one product, clear? One, one reproductive part. Now, uh, for, for sexual mode of reproduction, there are two modes, like in uh, plants. That is, female uh, reproductive part and male reproductive part. So we will study all this in details today, clear? So now, we'll study about reproduction in animals. Clear? So first, let's study about humans. So students, this, we're going to start about reproduction in animal. First, we'll discuss about sexual reproduction. Clear? So first, we'll start with human. Clear? So in human, we have male reproductive uh, organ and then female reproductive organ. Clear? So now, male So my dear students, under sexual reproduction in humans, we will first study about male reproductive organs and then female reproductive organs. So now, the same like in plants, under the male reproductive organ, a male produces a male gamete known as sperm, okay? And female produces a female gamete uh, known as uh, egg or ova, okay? So this sperm and ova, that fuse together to form a zygote. Clear? So this is how an individual is produced. Clear? So now, let's study about the uh, male reproductive organ. So um, we have testis. Okay? We have testis. And then this one, uh, we have two pair of testis. Okay? And then here we have sperm ducts. Clear? And then penis. So, uh, in class 10, you will study this in detail, and uh, for class 8, it's just a general part, clear, in general part. So now, if you pay attention and if you uh, understand this uh, reproduction, the steps uh, properly, then in class 10, it will be very easy for you, clear. So students, you can look here. This is the pair of uh, testes, okay? This is the pair of testes, and then this testes is where millions of sperm are produced from this uh, testes, 
in, 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 in male, okay? Now, from here, So this is a bladder, okay? This is a bladder. And then this is a sperm duct. Sperm duct. Clear. So millions of sperms are produced from this testis and then it is transported from here. Clear. And so this is the penis. Clear? This is the penis. So this is a rough sketch of a, a male reproductive organ. So you can uh, refer to your textbook as well. Clear? So now here labeling is very important, my dear students. So don't forget, this is the testis, this is the sperm, and this is the penis. Clear? Okay. So now this sperm, okay, the sperm this sperm is a single cell, okay? It's a single cell, and then uh, it looked like this, okay? This, the sperm, the human male sperm, it has a tail, it has a head, okay? So this is the head part, okay? This is the head part, and then this is the middle piece. So this is the tail part, and then this is the head part, okay? This is the head part. So it is a cell, and it has all the functions of the cell. And then this is the middle piece, clear? So now I'm sure uh, you are aware about uh, all the organs and then uh, about the sperm. Now we'll study about the female reproductive organ. Clear female reproductive organ, and once after uh, we are done with the female repro reproductive organ, we'll study about the fertilization. Clear. Students, this is a rough sketch of female reproductive organ, okay? Now here, the important organs that you have to know is, this is the ovary, okay? This is the ovary. And then, this one, over here, this one is the ovida, okay? Ovida. Now, uh, for human, okay? For human, in female, uh, in female, every month, every month, an egg, okay, a single matured egg, okay, a single matured, matured egg is produced once a month, once a month from either uh, from uh, from this ovary or from the either from either one of these two, okay, and it is released into the ovida, okay. So once a month, uh, a a matured egg is released into the ovida. Now, this is the urethra. This is the urethra. Clear? This is the urethra. So, this uh, we have just seen. You have to remember ovida, ovary, and urethra because you have to label this in exam. Clear? And then you don't have to draw a very good diagram, but you should practice. Clear? Now this is where a baby is developed, okay? This urethra is where a baby is developed. Okay, so now students, uh, so male gametes, you know that that's a sperm, right? So female gametes is known as ova or egg, okay? Ova or egg. This is a female, female gametes. Gametes, female gametes. 
So now I'm sure you are now clear with the organs and you are now familiar with the, uh, both the reproductive part for male and female. Clear? So now we'll study about the fertilization. Now fertilization means fusion, okay? Fusion of male and female gametes. Clear? Fusion of male and female gametes to form a zygote. Okay? So from zygote it, zygote, it develops into an embryo, from embryo to a baby. Clear? So now we'll study about fertilization. Okay, so students, like I have said in fertilization, now fusion of male and gametes will take place, right? So now this takes place like uh, during the sexual intercourse, clear? Now here, this is the egg, okay? This is the, uh, this is just rough sketch of an ova, okay? A egg, this is a female gametes. And they also have a nucleus inside. Clear nucleus inside. Now, now what happens is that uh, during the fertilization, okay. Now after the intercourse, what happens is that the sperm, millions of sperms are produced, like I said, right? So now what happens is that the head part will be here. So. Okay, so millions, okay, I've, I have drawn a few sperms here, but now millions of sperm will come and uh, during the fertilization, just one uh, sperm will be able to fuse, okay, will be able to fuse with the female, uh, female gamete, clear, and then thus, like, uh, it will become a fertilized, it will become a fertilized egg, clear. So if it is successful, then like it will be uh, fertilized. Now, see, this is also a male, male cell and this is like a, uh, for female gamete, okay? So now once they are joined, what will happen is that now uh, they will combine to form a single nuclei, okay? They will combine to form a single nuclei. See, they will combine to form a single, single nuclei clear and this is known as zygote this is known as zygote clear so uh, fertilization is the first step for reproduction clear fertilization is the first step for reproduction now see zygote is already formed clear now zygote is already formed now uh, in your textbook they have also mentioned about a test tube baby right so now there is many misconceptions about test tube baby. A, a human baby cannot grow under, inside the test tube, clear. But uh, for some uh, female, for some women, what happens is that uh, the egg, okay, the oviducts, the oviducts that I have drawn earlier, okay, the oviducts is some, some, for some female, the oviducts is blocked, okay, is blocked. So what happens if the oviduct is blocked, now, though the ovary produces an ova, clear? Though the ovary produces an ova, it will not release, okay? Because since the oviduct is blocked, now this egg, this egg is not allowed to fuse with the sperm, clear? That is why uh, in this case, what a uh, doctor does is, doctor takes the fresh release egg, okay? Doctor takes out the fresh release, uh, re uh, fresh release egg from the female reproductive part, and then uh, doctor also takes the male uh, sperm, and then uh, they are kept together for a few hours, and that is known as IVF. Clear? That is known as IVF, and IVF the full form is in vitro fertilization. Okay, that is in vitro, vitro fertilization. That means. Uh, external fertilization clear since the fusion is not happening inside now the external fertilization is taking place clear now in this case what happened they are kept for a few hours and if the fusion take place clear if the fusion take place then uh, what the doctor does is now the zygote the zygote is kept for around a week okay 
around a week and after a week it is placed inside the uh, female urethra clear that is how a baby is developed a human baby should develop inside the urethra clear so that is the uh, misconception clear okay so students the next is uh, but see uh, for human beings or for uh, animals like cat dog and all the fertilization take place inside right but many aquatic animals like fish or frogs and all the fertilization uh, for them the fertilization is external clear have you have you seen like in spring season or in rainy season uh, the frogs like uh, they go towards the stream or pond uh, areas right what that does is when this like uh, a male frog and a female frog they meet together the female frog they lay um, many eggs okay they lay many eggs the female frog they lay they lays many eggs but unlike see uh, we have seen in and uh, there are these eggs are not covered with a shell okay this egg are not covered with a shell but this egg are covered with a jelly like okay a jelly like just to protect this egg now th this is how the, the uh, external fertilization take place for some aquatic animals okay so though animals uh, under animals this the mode of reproduction is very different clear so tomorrow we will uh, talk about uh, uh, we'll, we'll talk about this uh, the different stages okay from now we today we have talked till uh, we have discussed about zygote right till zygote so tomorrow we'll talk about the embryo and from embryo uh, to human baby how it is uh, till the end we'll talk about clear so thank you so much students make note of everything see you in the next class